I I I pretty much do. I gotta go through like OTR, or do I gotta go through uh, certain hoops to to get to that type of position that I want? On a normal, when you come in, you usually come in through local, and then they hire they uh, move you from local to line hall. Mm -hmm. But that that's only if they have local drivers that want to transition to line hall. Then that's how they do it. But because of the way things are now, and everybody needs drivers, they're bringing you straight on from off the street to line up. And mm -hmm. and normally you have to be the you come in and export, and depending on your terminal, uh, you could be export for a hot second, or you could be export for a couple of years. It depends on when your drivers, how your drivers are leaving, if they retiring or or being terminated. They tell somebody to retire or be terminated, you moves up. Uh, which means that uh, you can uh, land a, a gig on the export, I mean, on the uh, bid, where you can get a good run. But now, like, certain terminals, they got more freight than they have uh, drivers. So you got drivers coming in, like, at Toledo and, and Memphis and West Middlesex, PA. Mm -hmm. They come in those terminals and walk straight into a bid run. Hmm. Off rip because they got extra beer runs that's not covered. Okay. So it's like if you want to get in the LTL, this is the best time to get it. You say you say right before, now. Before you, the, say, you say right now is the best time to get into it if somebody's interested. It's the best time before the, right before the economy turns back over. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what's up, man. What what kind of what kind of benefits do this uh, company offers, man? We got uh, Cigna. Like two oh, send that health care. Uh, yeah. And then you get that 90 days after you've been there. Mm -hmm. And then, like, now they bring in the drivers they bring in now, they off rip, giving you two weeks of vacation. Oh, okay. So okay. you can come in, you can come in, get hired Monday, and take a vacation in October. Okay, that's what's up, man. Hey, what about, uh, what about, what about, uh, uh, sign on bonus? Did, did, did you know? I know this is like six years ago. Did you did did they did, do they offer one now? And did they offer you one back six years ago? Certain terminals, depending on where it's at, certain terminals had uh, sign on bonuses. But the average terminal, no, they don't offer sign on because they feel like the average company that gives you a sign on bonus, they basically trying to swindle you in. They got something to hide. And that's just feel like. They're going to be straight up with you across the board. They're going to pay you the way it's supposed to. Your check going to be in your account every week. Mm -hmm. You have a good check in your account every week. So mm. why do we got to bribe you to come here? Because mm. once, once you get here and you see how it is, you make it. So they're not going to bribe you to get here. You say that. You, you know what? When you, when, you, when you look at it, when you, when you look at it and say it that way, man, that's. It's kind of a good way to put it. You know, we're going to have to bribe you to come in to work for us, so we're going to give you $5,000, you know, and, and pay you over the course of three take years. Three years to pay out. Yeah. yeah I, I'm, I'm like this, you know, sign-on bonus is, is what it says. You know, when you sign on, you you get the bonus. I was kind of right, when, right, when, right. when, right. when I was hip to it back then, they was like, oh, yeah, yeah, this sign on bonus, $2,500. I was like, oh, okay, bet. You know, I, I, I come in and then I'm over here looking at my, my paycheck like, uh, where's the bonus? Oh, well, yeah, we're giving it to oh, you. you in bit by, days, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're giving it to you in bit by pieces. Like, a hundred fifty here, a hundred dollars there, uh, two hundred dollars here. I'm like, wait, hold up, hold up. I I, I, I don't get do the, to lure you in. I, I don't get the whole thing. You see, I think this. Yeah. I I think this is where the problem. Sometimes where the problem lies because I and I under, and don't get me wrong. I I understand why you know why companies does this shit the way they do it. I mean, you know, I I personally don't agree with it, but. You know, they, they, they do it because of, you know, raggedy ass drivers that comes in, does the, you know, does about six months and then bounce. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, by them doing it that way, you know, you know, giving it to you in bit by bit, piece by piece, 
you know, it, it forces you to to stay there longer to get paid out. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, like I right. said, I I mean that's just my opinion. I, I I don't I personally don't like it, but but I I do agree with it because you know you do got bum ass drivers out here that does bum ass shit. Right, right. Oh, you get a driver to hire on. So, okay, well, yeah, I'm only making five hundred dollars a week, but in in thirty days I get that I get that fifteen hundred. Right. You know, but the only checks is low every week, but we'll still stay there. Because they didn't know they get that bonus or that hiring bonus, part of it, and within a month. For me, even when I was a, 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 a newbie, I have always been all eyes and ears. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't I didn't let companies lure me in. I did my research. Right. You no, know, I, I look at detail for detail. I mean, I didn't, when I first came in, I didn't have it like the driver that now. Like a lockout man that's going and calling these companies, right? And I and I got and I I got to commend you on that. One. Thank you. you. You broke the mold. You broke the mold when you came out and started that. Because I mean, you 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 you, you changed the game. I appreciate now drivers that. ain't got to wonder. Now drivers ain't got to wonder what this company's going to do or what they pay because all they got to do is watch your is, is watch your watch your podcast. I I'm like, wow, that. when you first start doing it, I'm like, wow, that's smart. That's smart. I mean, he's right now. Now I see a couple of drivers uh, starting to do that now. Mm-hmm. But you, you, you started that, you know? Well, I, I still have, you know, I, I, I still have yet to see anybody to, 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 to do what I have done. But, I mean, you know, if they start to do it, that's fine. If they, you know, you know, tweak at it, that's fine. Um, you know, like I said, I, I, I try to, you know, I, I, I try to keep it up. I try to, I try to keep it up. I mean, it does get, it does get mundane, man. That's why, you know, that's why, I've, you know, that you notice a couple of times I take a little bit of hiatus and all like that because it does get right. mundane, but you know, but when I get back at it, I get back at it, you know, because I, 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 I like doing it. I mean, you know, a lot of, a lot of companies have reached out to me because of the podcast, you know, and a lot of companies, you know, reached out to me and they'd be like, Oh, okay. Hey, you know, we, we see that you done a, a expose on us and we just want to, we, we just want to call you back to give you some updates. Like what, what, uh, what, what, uh, I forgot her name, but prime did, you know, she, she called me up right. and she called me up and she was like, you know, I've seen the, you know, I seen the thing that you did with uh Prime and you know, we we just wanna let people know now that, you know, we got you know, we got different you know, we got a, a different structure now. And they they use me to, you know, get that out there because they know that people watches the the podcast. So, you know, I, I you know, I appreciate that. And that would you know, like I said, I get burnt out, but that's that's what get me back in there when I get a company to call me up and be like, yo, um, can 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 we come on right quick and 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 say what we and and you know say what we got? Oh, I, oh yeah, okay, no problem. Let me let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, it, <laughs> it lets you know that your work is not in vain. You know that it's working. You know that somebody actually is benefiting, or someone actually getting something out of what you're doing. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Yeah. So what Estes man? Uh, it, it sounds like they keeping you guys, uh, keeping you guys there pretty, pretty good, man. So what's the turnover rate there must be low. Yeah, I don't know what the actual rate is, but yeah, it's 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 low. No, they don't. They don't. They they not. They try to do what they can to keep. They don't, they're not quick to try to let you go. I mean, right. you gotta do some stuff. But if they let you go, you gotta do some stuff for them to let you go. Well, that I mean, means you you, be, you really gotta fuck up something in order to get crazy, that. Dropping trailers, misfalls. I mean, don't get you out of there, but it ain't it ain't like your your first pitch, you don't, you know. Right. It, it got to be really serious. So what's your so what's oh, your yeah. so so for 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 you know for for new jacks or anybody that's interested in coming in? What's what's the experience that you need to come up in there and 
what tips and advice would you give someone who is interested in the company? What I would say is, if you come in, even if, uh, if you come in, basically, just be patient. You know, if you come in and you got to do extra board, just be patient. Because with, with LTL, not just Estes, with LTL, you don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. Mm-hmm. You might have been there two weeks, and, and it don't look like you're going to ever get a bid run. I might have been there two years, and it don't look like you're going to ever be, get a bid run. You go home and come back the next night, and your TM might say, hey, guess what? I got a run for you. We just we just, hired, we just added two runs. Mm-hmm. It's like you don't know what they're going to do. Like, like what the right hand don't know what the left hand is doing. Right. It's so always. it's like you just got to be patient, do your job, stay clean, come to work, don't be calling in, calling off. You know, and do what you're supposed to, and, and when things come up, uh, uh, you'll be in there. Then if you're trying to get in, but it's been a few weeks and you haven't heard from them yet, that does not mean that they're not interested. Because a lot of times they got so many drivers that's calling them that they probably don't have, don't have time to call you. So the best thing for you to do is call them. Okay. If you put your application in, and let's say you submitted it last week, and you ain't heard nothing, pick up the phone and call talk to the terminal manager for that terminal that or the operation manager for that terminal that you're looking to, to work out of. A lot of times, like, like with me, when I, put in for, when I put my application in, they didn't call me. I mm-hmm. called them. Mm-hmm. And, and then they're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got you. Oh, oh yeah, we, we are, we're looking at you. Uh, give us a couple of days, and we got a finish doing your uh, background, and we'll give you a call right back. They can get a call right back for a whole week. I called them back. And he and turn around and was like, okay, yeah, we got you ready and approved. Can you come in to do your interview? But then once I did my interview, uh, then that's when they had to do my final background. Was that right there? It takes like three weeks. Mm-hmm. And then once once that came back and was good, that's when they brought me in to start working. And then did, did they wait? They, they brought they system, brought you in for orientation after all of that. So this is so this is an extensive type of background check that they're doing at least oh, at yeah. least a couple they, of yeah. weeks <laughs> yeah but that, that orientation is not really your typical orientation mm-hmm. because really their, their orientation is riding all week with, your, with the driver that's training you how to hook the text up that's their orientation that's not really like a average OTR company where you got to sit there and watch videos and and take all these tests. But when you come, your road test, your physicals, and your and your uh, drug test mm-hmm. is already done. You, mm-hmm. They send you for those when you come for your interview. They send you right to the Centra. You get those done uh, right after your interview. If they decide, if they're saying that they're going to hire you. Nice. So when you come for orientation, you jump right in the truck with the trainer for five days and once you do your five days with the trainer, and he signed off on you, and then next week you're on your own. Wait, you you still got to do you you still got to do uh you still got to go out with a trainer even if you got uh experience like three four years experience you still got to well yeah I I That's would imagine I, I would imagine you would have to because you 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 have to learn how to you know how to couple the yeah. the double trailers yeah. right yeah. It's yeah. not really a trainer because 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 uh, sometimes you might not even drive. They they're not judging you on your driving or, or watching you on your driving. So sometimes they might not even drive. Their job is basically showing you how to safely hook sets up. Okay. Like yeah. me, uh, I already had experience with hooking sets up, so you know my my eyes are just pretty easy. How 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 hard is it to uh to to hook one of the double trailers? I was I was rolling uh about a month about a month month and a half ago and uh, and I was in traffic after I was in traffic after an accident that involved a uh a, a, a doubles and triples uh tra- uh tractor trailer the 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 end trailer came unhooked and the and the driver uh that ran into it didn't see it because you know it was you know the the highway we was on it was dark and uh 
and of course it wasn't no lights on the uh on the trailer so he he messed around and uh ran into it how how hard is it to uh to hook those uh trailers up to each other and how often do you got to check it to make sure that they still couple Your hardest time, your hardest time hooking a setup would be when you knew. What well, it might take you 25, 30 minutes, forty minutes when you knew. Mm-hmm. But by the time you get used to doing it, uh, twenty minutes, fifteen, twenty minutes, you can have that setup done. And then, uh, uh, I would say you check it as you stop. If you stop and you and you go in the, go in the uh, rest in the truck stop for a second, mm-hmm. I would say come out. You know, and, and look at your hooks, make sure. Like, you should be doing that anyway with the band, you know, because you never know if somebody pulled your pin, you know? Right. So, I would say, come out there and do a walk around and look at your hooks, make sure your dollies and things are still hooked up, your airline mm-hmm. and things are still hooked up. But it's, it's sound harder than what it is. Our job is easy. Our job, they call us the lazy drivers out here because we don't do anything. We, we don't talk to a customer, we go terminal to terminal, that's it. We don't talk to no customers, we don't have no delays. You know, our, and they, our, our miles is calculated by the day. Right. Whatever they give you that day, whatever miles they give you that day, you have to have those miles done within your 14-hour period. Then the next day starts a whole new day. Oh, okay, that's what's up. Do you guys... So, so do, that makes it easy. Do do you well? What where, where, Doug? Where where are you out of? What what part of the what part of the map you out of? I'm out of Michigan. I'm out of Detroit. Okay, so you so you from so you from Detroit, Michigan? Yeah. All right. So, uh, being from Detroit, Michigan, are you able to take the truck home, or you you had to take you had to take your truck to to a terminal? Or something like that, and 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 uh, and and drive home. How 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 is that for home time? Because you're considered that you're out of your domicile terminal, which means you out of the terminal that's close to where you live at. Mm-hmm. I think you can't live no more than fifty miles from the terminal. Oh, okay. Then yeah, you and have then to. You're, and then you're pulling day cabs, so your truck don't go home. Your your truck has to stay at your domicile terminal. Oh, okay, okay. So they so, so that's S- one of the. Do, the essence do got sleepers though, right? I could have sworn I seen some sleepers out here. They got sleepers. And, and sleepers are mainly for teams, but you might see a few uh, solo drivers that have them. Oh, okay. But it's still the same procedure when you at home. Only time you, that truck is with you and it's not at the terminal is when you're like an extra board driver and you shut down at another terminal. So, cause, so you use the truck to go to the hotel and get something to eat with. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, of course, we're of course with Estes. You you you're up under the uh, HO, H, uh, HOS rules, of course. Uh, right. Electronic laws, not not uh, not uh, not the not the standard law, uh, maybe paper laws or nothing like that. Uh, all right. What about I I guess my last thing about uh about Estes because this sound uh I mean for anybody that's interested in Estes man uh I'll leave the I'll leave the information in the uh in the uh description below where y'all can uh apply. Uh do they have do they have referral bonuses for you guys Doug man because if so um uh, you you want me to leave your information as far as somebody that might be interested in uh, going to Estes, they can use you as a referral? Yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. Um, yeah, but yes, yeah, they do have referral bonus, yeah. All right, when we get finished with uh when we get finished with the with, with this conversation, man, just uh text me over your you know, your your information, uh your information and I'll I'll put all that in in the uh, I'll put all that in the um, in the description for people to, you know, to use you as a referral, you know, so that you can, uh, you know, so that you can get compensated for giving up for giving up this good information on uh, Espes. And this information is good, man. I mean, it's, you know, they always say that, uh, you know, talking to the recruiter is one thing, but 
you know, talking to a driver that's 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 in, you know that that likes what he's doing and likes the company makes it makes it good for the company as well. Uh, do they do the, the? I guess my last you know my last question before we get up out of here. Uh, what's their position on felons, man? If if anything, they, they were hired, but as far as how old it has to be, I I can't I can't answer. But I don't know. But I mean, I would assume it has to be at least two years old. But that's something that they can, that, that they can for sure ask recruiters. Okay, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right, well, Doug, man, Estes, man, uh, I got a lot more. <laughs> I, I I got a lot more appreciation for them now, man. They're coming in at sixty-eight cent a mile, capping out at at seventy-four, and and. W two a hundred K, and it's no, not it, it, and it's not a flatbed company. <laughs> no, that's, that's why I say. I mean, the type of money that we make here, like let's say like truckload. I mean, not truckload, but grocery. Grocery can come close, but the only way you're gonna do that in grocery is that you gotta be touching the box. A lot like of me, a lot of touch uh, freight. Drivers, yeah, me and grocery driver was talking before. And that's one of the things they came up with. Like, well, yeah, well, I guess that is better because y'all ain't doing nothing. Y'all making more than we making, and we got to touch all these boxes. Man. Ooh. And I, the other thing I want to say, is like a lot of drivers would say it's pointless to go local. Well, I want to say that's not true. I, I wouldn't say that's not true either. I mean, I, I, I say that local is work, though. I mean, lo, local is... Local is work, considering the fact that you know you you you're doing city driving. That's number one. Let's get that out the way. You're doing city driving. You're doing you're doing a lot of you know you're doing a lot of uh blindside backing. Let's, let's get that right, out the right. way. So yeah, you you doing a lot of work. Plus you had to unload the trailer. So plus you might have to be in a you might have to be in a uh. In a uniform too. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 uniforms here. Yeah. yeah, you might have to be in the uniform too. So you know, a lot of. I, I, uh, I like I like the uniform. I mean, I feel like it it makes you feel it, it makes you look more organized. You know, when you when you and people respect that more when you're uniform. I you know what I agree. I, I, I'm, I'm not a, I'm I'm not a proponent of the uniform. <laughs> I, you know, I, I guess like when I get out of the truck to represent the company, yeah. But like when I'm inside the truck, nah, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm in, yeah, I'm in, like I'm in t-shirt. Driver, you know? Yeah, I, I'm in t-shirt and shorts. And then when I get out, I'll put on the, I, I'll put on the button up and the, and the, and the, um, and the Cena pants. You know, I'll, I'll do it then. But like when I'm inside the truck, nah, 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 I'm, I'm t-shirt. I'm I'm t-shirt and right. and shorts or whatever whatever that's comfortable to me. So, but yeah, right. man. But when, but when I say, but when I say local, like our beer driver technically is considered local because they're home every day. Exactly. And like you, like you get drivers that go with an OTR. See the difference there. Like we, you also got to watch who you go to be local or, or home every day with. Mm-hmm. Because if you go to an OTR coming kind of like a Snyder or Old Dominion, I mean, not me, a Snyder or or Swift or Warner, they they're not going to pay you more than what they pay the OTR drivers. Right. So if they if the wages for the OTR drivers are not that high, how much do you think you're going to make local? Exactly. And you got to look at it like that. Exactly. Most of them still want to pay you mileage. You know, and then you're not getting that many miles. You know, and that, and it, and it screws the checker. So it makes it to where your wages are low being local. Mm. Like if you want to go local, you need to go with a, like a like a food warehouse, mm. or like a warehouse company. I mean, a food grade grocery truck grocery company, or LCL, and and you'll be happy. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. All right, Doug Estes. Hey, what what do you want the people? What what do you want to leave the people with about about S's that you that you hadn't said already? LTL, 
you know, the way to go. And it don't necessarily have to be Esther. It could be Esther, Fire, Old Dominion, Southeastern, uh, uh, UPS, FedEx. If you want to make good money and, and live a good life, spend a time with your family, uh, make it every event that you want to make, you know, not being stuck on the road. LTL is the way to go, and it gives you a comfortable way of living. You know, life ain't always about being stuck on the road. Now, let me ask you. you know I mean, back in the day, people. Let, uh, let me hold up right quick. Let me ask you this. Uh, and it's sorry to break. Sorry to break that. But I, 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 I'm, I'm looking at a, I'm, I'm looking at a double, uh, a double trailer passing me now. In when y'all get to like the destination, because this, this, this is like uh, DC or terminal to terminal, right? Is it, is it dropping hook, or do you guys gotta actually back each trailer into the dock? Most terminals, they have yard jockeys there, so like. Oh, okay. It's, it's different. Like Saya, Saya, uh, you're you're breaking your trailers and you're putting your lead in, and they have a jockey to put the rear. In. Oh, okay, okay, like okay. Here, Estes, you might have to put both trailers in, but most a lot of times you go to where all we gotta do is unhook from the lead from the lead trailer, and the jockeys break the set, put the sets in the door, and hook your new set up at, oh. at probably, probably at half a, at half of our terminal. Oh, okay, okay. All right. That's, most of the big hubs, most of the big hubs, they're breaking and hooking your sets for you. Okay. All right. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right. Well, Dub, man, I, so I – oh, go ahead. One thing I also want to say is with the 401K, uh-huh. uh, like, like just because a company say they pay you 401K, that does not mean that it's going to be beneficial to you. Mm. So, like, like with Estes and Sire – they pay, they give you 401k, but they invest in me, which meaning if they give you 50% on a dollar, of, uh, every dollar that you, that you put up, it's invested every week in me, where most OTR companies, they say, uh, yeah, we give you 401k, but you'll be putting in, but they might not invest for five years. So it's meaning you got to be there five years before you get a dime from them for 401k. Okay. So that, it's only beneficial if, they, if both parties is putting in and it's invested in me. And I was like, a company that do that, they know that they drive, they're going to be there five years. But they just use that as a way to get you in. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right, all right. That's, that is what's up, bro. All right, what so does? When, when you, oh, go ahead. When you're talking to the companies or whatever, and you ask about their 401k, but ask them how long you gotta be there before they invest. Okay, that's the magical question right there. All right, yeah. Some companies with the with with the 401k, you know, you gotta be at least with the company for a year, and I I think that's. I think that's where I messed up at. Uh, I was with U.S. Express for you know two years before I actually left them, but I I didn't jump on the four hundred one k because I, I wasn't you know I wasn't sure about it. But then when I got with other companies, you know I found out that the four hundred one k that I would have jumped on initially would have followed me all the way up until the 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 company where I'm at now. But the company where I'm at now, you know, they they offer 401k, but I gotta, you know, I, of course I gotta wait another year uh, before I jump into it, and, I, and I'm gonna have to hurry up and jump into it soon because, you know, bro, I'm, you know, I'm 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 52. I'm not getting right. I'm not getting younger. You know what I'm saying? I got about another. Right. I got about another what ten what ten years. Uh, 10, 15, oh, man, people, uh, 10, 15. 70, 75 years old still driving. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but I'm I'm just saying for like you know for the retirement age, you know, I still got yeah. about ten, about ten, fifteen years, you know, to go, and I, you know, I at least, you know, I I at least gotta have have something to show for you know doing what I'm doing, 
you know, is it a lot? Of, and you're right. A lot of drivers are, you know, are of age, 75, 70. Hell, some I I, I met an 80 year old driver. You know what I'm saying? And that's, right. you know, and that's 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 crazy in itself. But the only reason why they <laughs> right the the reason why you know the reason why the 80 year old is still driving is because he said he likes driving. You know, he just he. He just don't like being in the house, you know. He's a widower, you know. His his wife passed, his his kids is his kids is gone, and you know he you know there's nobody in the house with him, so he just said fuck it, you know. He got a he got a buddy oh. of his, you know, a buddy of his owns a trucking company, and you know he just asked him if he just needs him for like a couple of you know like a couple of days. He he don't drive every day. I mean you know he just. Oh, he just, he he drives on his time, you know. Like if he want to come out, do about a month, something like that, and then go back home. That's that's what he do, and that's what some of these older drivers that do anyway. You know what I'm saying? They you know for whatever reason that that brings them back out to the road is you know they do it they 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 do it on their time. So you know, and that and that's understandable. You know that's understandable. But some of the, right, right. But like for me, I mean, you know, I I, I still gotta, I, I still gotta get that, I still gotta get that up because you know I don't want to be, I don't, I'm also don't want to be that driver that you know did all these years and 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 fru- uh, and and fronted all my money away. You know what I'm saying? I right. At least, yeah, I get it. Right. I at least want to, you know, when I get, you know, when I get seventy. You know, seventy or seventy-two or whatever. I, I at least want to turn back to the bank and be like, "Yeah, this, you know, this is pretty good." You know, something happened to me. I'm able to, you know, leave my my son something or you know his kid something or whatever. Right. Right. You know, I just don't right. want to come out here and 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 waste all my you know waste all my time and energy and 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 waste all my damn money and you know yeah right. All right. I'll get it. <laughs> so. All, right, All right, Dub, man. man. Thanks for calling in, man. I really do appreciate it. This is some very, very good uh good stuff uh for people that might be at, interested in LTL or Estes. Uh I'll definitely leave your information in the in the description below so that people can uh, you know, again, like I said, use you for a reference. And uh and uh come on and, 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 and chop it up with uh chop it up with uh Estes, man. Uh-huh.